Hi. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Awesome, have a great day. Thanks. I got the coffee maker prepared last night, but I forgot to turn on the auto. You've done that before. So we're, we're picking up some coffee this morning. All right, here we go. Woo. Naced up, ready to go. Hold on, just adjust this real quick. Hope you're having a great Friday. Come on now, almost the weekend. So two points before we get rolling is first, there's always a lot to communicate here on YouTube with all of you. I wanna do better at communicating my daily run. Sometimes I feel like, eh, that's kind of boring. Why would I communicate that I ran three miles at 8.30 a mile with all of you? But I realize that it is beneficial actually for you to see the, the ups and the downs of my training and, and the mileage I have in the shoes. For example, the Zoom Fly 4s, I think we'll be at about 15 to 20 miles after today's run. So in addition to the comment of the day, question of the day, run today. I'm going to do better at putting the title at the end of the run of what I actually did that day. Okay, so that's my, if you could just remind me in the comments in case I forget, I would appreciate it. Second point is that the durability prediction for the running shoe reviews, you know how I give a prediction? That's why I call it a prediction. I can't take shoes much past 50 miles. You all know that. The reason I feel confident in giving those durability prediction is A, because before I did running shoe reviews on YouTube, I would take shoes to 300, 400, 1,000 miles very easily. You know, when I couldn't really afford to buy running shoes, I would take shoes really, really far. So that's point A. Point B is the tear down process. As I'm deconstructing shoes like Asics and Mizuno, they're always at the top of my list for high durability. It's because I've, I've torn those types of shoes apart and they're, they're more difficult. The build quality, the materials, the sewing, the glue that these companies are using uh, versus, I'll just say, like a Skechers. I love you, Skechers. I love you. Skechers, you have a place in the running shoe world. Uh, that's why I, I feel confident in giving these durability predictions. Also, last point, I, I just thought of this. Point C is that DGR sends me photos of their shoes. Yes, you know who you are. You can still send your photos of shoes when they hit 300 miles, 500 miles, 1,000 miles. And I look at the photos, uh, like the outsole wear, the midsole compression, uh, the upper, like are there holes in the upper after 700 miles, et cetera, et cetera. All right, let's go. Come on, downtown Denver. Oh, it's nice to see some Christmas lights. I have been wanting to do this for years, everyone. So many a time I've taken apart shoes. Again, here's Skechers. Remember what I was saying earlier 
I just can understand the build quality and therefore make those durability predictions based on these deconstructions. Well, in this, as you know, I keep every single shoe for future analysis that I deconstruct, okay? What's this guy? This is, ooh, the Nike Tempo Next Percent, I do believe. We've got a 4% in here. The Max Road 5 from Skechers. I have some other shoes in the other room, but never have I ever remembered. It's all about pivoting and innovation in the running world and on YouTube. So never have I taken on the challenge, and this might be a little too ambitious of a challenge, attempting to reduce the weight of today we're going to go with the nike zoom fly 4 can i reduce the weight of this shoe by one ounce by removing some elements of the shoe that i think are unnecessary however i don't want to um i don't want to compromise the integrity of the shoe meaning how does the shoe perform so what i'll do not today because i already ran but what i'll do is i'll take a, i'll take as much of the shoe off as I can, for example, this heel, this this tab here in the back to uh, to pull the shoe and help you pull the shoe on, I'll take that off. I'm definitely going to take this off of the tongue of the shoe. So I'll take as much material off the shoe as possible. And actually, let's put it on the scale in that room. And I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to go confirm right now. I believe we're looking at 8.75 ounces in my size. Let's see, 8.75 ounces. Okay, I'm in the other room, everyone. Turning on the scale and putting it on the scale, 8.8 .8 ounces. This scale rounds up. So we're going to say, we're going to go with, hold on, hold on. We're going to go with 8.75 ounces. So can I reduce the weight of this shoe down to 7.75 ounces? That's the goal. That's the challenge. Oh, baby. And before I forget, Today's run, there it is on your screen, all right? I'm filling in as much information as possible about the run, about the effort, about the shoe that I ran in, and I'm gonna do better at doing this every single day, okay? Oh, man, it's all about time in this world, so we'll, we'll do our best here, okay? Let's get down to business. We've got tools here, okay? Uh, oh yeah, scissors. Just working on our decoupled groove, everybody. Okay, um, I knew this was gonna be a challenge, and sure enough, it was. An ounce, ooh, here comes a piece. Okay, this is good. I think uh, I'm gonna need to invest in some better tools. I'll just say that right now. Okay, let me just see if I can get this off. Let's put this on the scale, and the Nike Zoom Fly 4, one ounce challenge. I gotta say, impressed with the build quality, Nike. I've never tried this before. Tr attempt to reduce the weight of a running shoe by one ounce. Now, I took some off the uh, off the midsole here on the side. I just think there's a little excess there. Again, I was trying not to compromise the integrity of the shoe. I will run in this shoe tomorrow to see how it does. Come back for those thoughts. I took a little bit of overlay off the top, just some ta some pull tabs off of the tongue and the heel. There's really not a ton of overlay. I was attempting to take out some of the inner cage that wraps over the top of the, uh, the midfoot, but uh, was unsuccessful in that. So this was a challenge and I'm excited that I guarantee, so I did not take an ounce off. Um, Hmm, I'm trying, you know, and I think the big, I think I could do a lot of good work on the outsole under the forefoot. But again, I just don't, I, I attempted to, but this rubber on the outsole without, uh, I need some, maybe outside in the garage, but you, I, I think I would basically have to heat up the shoe. Don't want to cause any fumes inside the house. Obviously, you got to be careful with that stuff. So let's put it on the scale. Mmm, very interesting. Oh, it's fun. Okay, here we go. Putting it on at... 8.54 ounces. So what, 0 0.20, there it is on your screen in uh, in grams. <laughs> I don't even know what it would be in grams that I was able to reduce the shoe. I'm not done though. I'm not giving up everybody on this notion. And again, I think um, I'll go to the hardware store or tool store somewhere 
because I think with some better tools, I could do a better job. And again, this decoupled groove on the outsole, I did okay, but it's probably 30% out of 100% that I could still be pulling some of this midsole slash uh, outsole rubber off. There you go. That was fun. We'll just keep trying to innovate here on YouTube with all of you. Oh, yeah. Comment of the day. Question of the day. Here we go. Geo Jelly. No, Geo Jolly. Here we go. Geo Jolly. You get the comment of the day. Thank you, sir. He says, I finished my Barcelona Marathon on the same day as you were doing your New York City Marathon. My next training block will begin with you, Seth, as I will be running Rotterdam as well. So cool. I can't wait to meet you in person. Oh, fan, oh Gio, and then he, he says fanboy moment. Come on, Gio. Uh, we are gonna meet in person. We'll do a either a run before or a cool down together, Gio, after the marathon. That is so Gio, you're gonna be able to really kind of follow my training. And actually the paper is down there from yesterday where I laid out and began to lay out the volume. Haven't finalized anything yet, but we will keep you posted. When I do, question of the day. Are you racing? this weekend all right and what distance are you doing what surface is it dirt is it pavement is it hilly is it mountains is it uh maybe you're running in snow. who knows maybe you're running in snow at this point in some i actually starting to see a lot more pictures on the uh, facebook group of people who are starting to train in some pretty serious winter conditions it's, it's 70 degrees here in denver once again so the snow is not here yet but i'm sure it's coming all right Nike Zoom Fly 4 one ounce challenge in the books. Hmm, I am excited. I'll put it that way. I got to I got you know, beholden to no one. I got to give my props to Nike with respect to like it was hard. It was not easy. Like I need it, this this that Zoom X uh yeah, that foam on the midsole is Kind of serious. All right, we will toss it to the last teardown that I did. It might have been the Skechers Max Road 5, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. I think it was the Skechers Max Road 5. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.